everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are checking out, I was about to say Fortnite, <laughs> we're checking out Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. It also has guns, get, get lost, whatever. But anyway, welcome to this video. Today we are checking out this game, and I am about an hour and 40 minutes into this game, and I have had barely three minutes of gameplay, so I'm going to catch you up on what's happened and overlay footage on the screen based on the bullet points, because honestly, there are so many cutscenes. And I'm not even talking cutscenes as in like animated ones. It's just the awkward stood around in a semicircle, meeting all of the characters from SAO, um, and it just being regular text boxes. So I'm going to save you the time, I'm going to save you the hassle, and as we're making our way over to the Remnant Wasteland, I can fill you in on what's happened. So we've been invited to the game Gun Gale Online GGO by our friend Kuria. She's spelled uh, K-U-R-E-H-A. I think it's technically pronounced Kuriha or something like that. Uh, she's invited into, into the game. There's a tournament on the first day that we've joined, and we thought, you know what? We're literally level one. We'll enter the tournament anyway. So as we're in the middle of this tournament, which was basically the control, like, you know, control scheme, or I guess the control tutorial, um, we basically kind of came across these really strong guys, and they were like, hey, guess what? We're not going to kill you as long as you go down this corridor first because it's slightly booby-trapped. So I went down the corridor. Everything was fine. Then there was a fork in the road, and they said, right, you go one way. We'll go the other. See you later. So we did that, and the room that we ended up at actually ended up having like a weird pod inside of it. And basically inside of that pod was this little person, like this little character. I'll show you the character in a second. Hold on a minute. There you go. So the character was this dude all the way back here who we've gone ahead and named in the little wood. So he's known as a Type X. He's basically like an AI. He's basically a support character. Um, and basically, as we were about to open the pod and we registered him as our own, that's when Kirito and Asuna turned up. We were obviously the main protagonists from the original anime series. And basically, they were like, oh, damn, you beat us to it. GG. And then they went on to win the tournament and we got a cool item out of it. And word has spread pretty fast. And now there's lots of high-level players that we've bumped into that seemingly want our AI. Uh, they've been offering us credits, which is the currency in the game, and all sorts of stuff. Then there was about three different introductions to uh, each of the characters. So it was like, hi, this is Klein. He's creepy. He really likes girls. And then I can't even remember what else we had. Um, we just basically met every character like three times. And it has been a snooze fest, to be fair. Like, I... I don't know what else to say. It's been a snooze fest. Um, and other than that, that's basically been it. It's just lots of cutscenes for the first hour and a half. And this is the first actual bit of gameplay that we've had. So let me run you through the control scheme. Right trigger to shoot. Pretty nice. Uh, left trigger to go into this sort of like scoped mode. Left stick in if you want to sprint. Uh, there is something through here. Whoa, what's that? And hold on a minute. And it does seem to have a lot of auto aim. So as long as you're generally aiming in that direction, it's inside the big square. Um, just holding down the right trigger will actually just like rapid fire at them, which is quite nice. I only have one weapon currently as well. I've got two two of the same exact weapon. But I don't seem to be able to dual wield, which is strange. So you can press down on the D-pad to swap between them. Or is it left? Or it might be... Oh, no, it's right on the D-pad. And then you press down to switch between your skills and your gadgets that you can see in the bottom right corner. So some of the skills are okay. I've only spent skill points to get one of them so far. So let's give this a try. I think it's if I hold R1 and press triangle. Yeah, look at that. One hit, one kill. Uh, oh, I've, I've changed my hip side. That's a little strange. Yeah, what's happened there? How do I change that back? I don't like it. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like the direction you stood on. I want my character on the left side and everything on the right. Oh dear, you know what, never mind for now, never mind. Uh, you might have just seen that grapple hook I've got as well, that's pretty sick. So basically, I got that from my AI, it was like a little extra bonus item, because he's considered a rare item, but then he also gave us this, which is a brand new item that's only just been added into GGO. It's basically a grapple hook, so I can normally use it to traverse the land, and as well as that, I can also grab items off of the enemies. So if I like shoot an enemy um, with it, and they're on the ground, basically after that point, I can go ahead, oh jeez, I think I've got an ally that's down. Uh, I can basically use it to steal an item off of them. Hold on. I still don't know how to change my hip fire to a different side. Oh, it's left on the D-pad. Okay, perfect. I'm good now. I'm good now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These dudes are doing me in, man. At least uh, Cully and in the little wood are sorting each other out. That's fine. They're picking each other up. Now, I don't know if these players right here, if they're real or if they are AI. As in, I'm talking real life AI, not in-game AI. Because this game does have online elements and it does have PvP aspects to it. So I genuinely don't know what the crack is here. Oh my god, I got snipes. <laughs> Someone pick me up! Is no one going to pick me up? You guys just going to... Okay, you guys just let them kill you. That's fine, whatever. 
So our current objective is to go to the boss area uh, in the Remnant Wastelands, which is where we currently are, and we need to try and beat the boss. And the reason we need to do that is because basically our AI has gone, hey, guess what? I'm the key to getting into the next global event, and you're going to have to buff me up in order to do that. So apparently the reason that he was in a pod and sleeping is because he basically got broken up into like fragments or something. So there's going to be bits and pieces of him to be found in the near future, which is kind of cool. Uh, let me use an ability right here. Let's go for oh, that one. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. I was trying to use my dash there, but I think I ran out on the cooldown. It's fine. Come on, go for it. Man, I wish I had a better gun. There you go. We're good. Oh, no. He's down. How do I revive him? Oh, triangle. Jeez, there we go. Tell you what, though. I did genuinely almost forget the controls for this game with how long it took between the various different areas. Like, basically, between doing the, the control tutorial and actually getting to this part where I'm in the out in the world, genuinely forgot a few bits. Like, it's, I, I did really need to dial it down with the cutscenes. I even tried, like, going for the options where it was kind of like, I don't care, or I already know this. You know, so the characters didn't have to explain too much to me, but it still didn't do too much of a world of good. There we go. There are a lot of enemies here, by the way. I have genuinely no idea which direction I'm meant to be going in. All the loot as well. Holy moly. Nice, good, good, good. Reload. All right, get him, get him, get him. Nice. Oh, God, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Finish him off. Oh, no. Triangle. There you go. Just about managed to headbutt him. Do I have a map that I can consult right now? Probably not whilst we're in the middle of all of this fighting. <laughs> Tell you what, let's just keep pushing through. Beat the area boss in the wastelands. Right. Where would a boss be hiding at? I'm hoping I'm going to have enough bullets left over for all of this. Whoa. More insects. Jeez. They're big old scorpions. Oh, my ball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Run, 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 run. Right, now, is there a way for me to get up there? Nice, 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 nice. Do it. Right, that there, I believe, is a treasure chest or an ammo crate. One or the other. They're not styled all that differently, so it's really hard to distinguish between the two of them. I can't remember from the tutorial which one was blue and which one had, like, a, a different tint to it. Oh, my word. Jeez. It's non-stop, isn't it? It's like an onslaught. There we go. Okay, we're good. Tell you what, let me swap to my other weapon and reload that one. Just so then whenever I need to change between them, I can do. Okay, dash in. Nice. Big damage, big damage. Nice. I do have a dodge on uh, circle as well. So as well as my R1 dodge, I've got the other one. I don't know what the R1 dodge does, though. The skill on the uh, on the circle. I feel like it might actually reload me. Let me give it a try. So if I was to go like this and then do the skill. So I've got two bullets left. Do the skill. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it does. Okay, cool. Sick. Oh, there we go. I just got a heal. I'm, yeah, I'm fairly certain at this point that that is my health bar. Because that's just now gone up to 66 after... Um, some HP was restored. So are we going the right direction for the boss? Yeah, I think we are actually. Oh, it looks like we're actually going into some kind of dungeon. Interesting. Go on then, let's have a little run into here, see what happens. Do I have to interact with this? Move to the dungeon. All right, yeah, let's do it. Dungeon number one. All right, I've just gone ahead and upgraded a couple of my stats through the uh, through the skill menu. I put a teensy bit more into the old uh, vitality, so I've got a bit more HP ready for this dungeon run. There we go. And I also equipped a brand new gun. Yeah, boy. Uh, this one is a bit more of like a, uh, a click-to-fire pistol, but it looks like it does way more damage. I think the previous pistol has a damage of like 36, I think. Um, the pistol has something absurd like 86 or something like that. Let me quickly check it. Where was it? Uh, Martin, equipment. Where was it? Yeah, that weapon there. Yeah, 83 physical power. The other two, 36. So it's a, it's a slight, it's a slight leap in power, which is very much welcomed. But I think for these initial rooms, I should be okay with just this stuff. Wow, that drone actually did a fair bit of damage to me. Not nice. Whoa, good. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go up that way, see if I can climb up to him. Yeah, climb up. Yeah, got it. Nice. Caught him off guard. And then I think there's probably two more dudes down here that I can deal with. Yeah, look at that. I tell you what, uh, let me swap weapon. Nice. It's nice that even though you have to click to fire it, the auto aim is still going on there. Ooh, there's something over there. Um, I might have to use a grapple hook to get over there. Treasure, treasure, treasure. What do we got? It's an Ellie sensor and high speed bullets. All right, fair enough. And I acquired the title Double Kill. Good job. Uh, let me go up there real quick. Oh, no, wait. It's my little dude down. Oh, no. Little dude. Little dude, little dude. Come here, Arthur. I've been calling them Arthur because ARF Sis was a little bit long-winded. And it feels weird to say my own name. So, <laughs> just been calling them Arthur. All right. Upstairs we go. Nice. Gotcha. Okay. You ready for this? Which gun are we on? 
Let me reload that one. And reload the other one. So we don't know what lies in the room ahead. Oh, long corridor. Normally means bad things. Okay, cool. Fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me dodge a little bit. Get rid of the drone. Because they're normally bad news for us. Whoa, jeez, dude. Take him out. Oh, he exploded. It was like a, like a, I don't know. It was like a kamikaze drone. Okay, go, go, go. Let me reload real quick. And let's go for it. Nice. And let's use the reload dash. I think we are good. Whoa, something opened up there. Where was that? Downstairs. Quite can't even see it. Where is it? Oh, down there. Okay, gotcha. Sure. So you do have to kill all the enemies. Ooh, in order to move through. So is this an actual loot crate? I don't know if it is. I don't know which one's the ammo crate and which one's the loot crate. Because I think that only gave me ammunition just then. Because it looks like it only gave me 150 handgun ammo. But it had like a gold tint to it. I would have assumed that treasure was gold and ammo would be blue. But I don't know. That's the colouring convention I go for. Um, can we use this? Do I need to hack it or something? Push. Here we go. Let's go through. Floor number two. Let's have you. Oh, I see. So half of that is open. Ah, I see. So I've got to go through two stretches and then we'll unlock the rest. Nice. Cool. Reloaded. Nice. As long as I can stay out of that line, I'll be good. Just going to push through here as fast as we can. Where are the old oh, Get the drone first. That's the one that causes us problems. There we go. Can I crouch? No, don't think I can crouch. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We move away from him. Move away from him. Whoa. Dash. Got no, I didn't even get him. Didn't even get him. I'm dead. Yeah. Knew I would be. I don't know if there's a crouch. I tried pressing in the left stick, but it was just making me sprint. Let me give it another try. So, can I crouch? No. Left, left, left sticking doesn't seem to want to crouch. I don't know if I was taught crouching in the tutorial. I don't recall being taught it. Tell you what, let me switch out to the uh, to the other gun. There we go. Nice. Get it, get it. Oh, jeez. Dead again. Dead again, dude. At least both my allies are up, though. Although Kuli is not going to last very long. She carries on like that. Oh, no. Why would you heal him over me first? I'm the real person. He's just a robot. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's get into it. Go, 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 go. Nice. Up you go. Let's finish him off. Close range. Oh, I'm all out. Nice, got it. Oh, we got the sniper automaton, uh, <laughs> automaton hunt done. Uh, whoa, there we go. Nice. Tried to dash out the way after that one, but just gone straight away. I could have given cover fire from the door. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? There we go. That's one dead. Don't you leave him alone. There you go. Right, are we done for this room? I'd like to think so. Yeah, that should hopefully be a teleporter next. Let's see. Yep, teleporter. Good job. Let's get the reload on the go. Nice. Let's push that bad boy. Through we go. On to the final portion, I'd like to think. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Whoa, my God. He is humongous. An angry berserker. Wow. Whoo, he hits for a lot. He hit me for 589. And it didn't kill me. I genuinely thought something like that might. Okay, hold up. Reload. I'm just going to stick on him with these attacks rather than anything else. Whoa, whoa. I'm just going to try and keep some distance between me and him. We've got a gun. There's no need to be close range. Where is he? Where is he? I said, just keep him in the scope. All right, our AI is down. So if she's going to pick him up. I'll distract him for a moment. Come on. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Ah, I tried to dodge out the way of that. Okay, we good? That's it. Just keep on him. Keep the aim going. He's got just over two bars of health left. Oh, headshots do seem to do more damage. Okay, I never even thought about doing that. My God. He hits hard and quick. That's not good. Whoa. Trying to get me in the noggin. Whoa. Oh, boy. Okay, he's definitely gone. That's fine. Kuria, it's on you. Oh, he's enraged. It's oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is he going? Tell you what, I'm going to switch weapons real quick. I feel like I'm going to get more damage in over the course of time. I feel like the, the clicking does more damage, but I'm just landing more hits in general here. Ouchie. Oh, I'm down. Oh, jeez. Kuria, careful, 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 careful. Oh, don't die to this. Don't be stupid, robot. Don't be stupid. Heal me. Oh, God. 
The AI is ballsy, man. Okay, she's down, she's down. Got it, it went really far away. Maybe I can keep him distracted. Yeah, okay. Oh, is he coming for me? That's it, come for me, come for me. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind. I uh, tried to sprint there. The left click wasn't working. Do you have to keep it held down? No, you don't. That's weird. Right. It's got a bar and a half left. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Are they both about to get nailed? Yep. Or at least they both got hit, but only one of them went down. Wait, she res? I'm going to have to go this way. Let me run through and pick him up. Come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare hit me. Okay, you're up, dude. You're up. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, he's down to almost one bar of health. Is he gearing up something big there? Yeah, here comes the spin. Spin to win. How dare you. And let me use the dash to get the reload on the go. Okay, oh. Wait, now I can crouch? Oh, it's right stick to crouch. God, I wish I'd known that before. Really wish I'd known that before. Uh, let me try headbutting him. Not bad, 414 damage. Probably don't want to get that close to him ever again, though. That was kind of terrifying. Okay, we're good. Nice. Get off the ground. Get off the ground. Oh, my God. When you crouch, he sort of, like, stays in that position. It's really weird to try and, like, toggle out of it. Come on. He's almost gone. Almost gone. Less than a one bar of health. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. That was almost as gone. What's Kulia doing? Does she need to heal or what? God, he is focusing me hard. There we go. Just keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging. No, it's not enough. I'm down. Jeez, I hope one of them goes for me and the other one goes for the res. Oh, no, she's gone. Okay, we're done for. I can't believe this. Such little health left as well. Look at him. He's almost gone. Oh, wait. Wait. Go on, then. Go on, then. Yeah, I think you managed it. You revived her instead of me. How dare you? No, she's gone. She's gone. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let me dodge this way. Let me dodge this way. Can we finish him? Can we finish him? Oh, no. I'm done for. Oh, I tried to dodge it. Okay, they're both up. They're both up. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. This is really intense, dude. <laughs> I really like this. Where is he? Get him. Finish him. Is he done? He's finished. We got him. Uniquely dead is a trophy we just got awarded. Wow. We have done it. We're going to get the new little body piece for Arthur. And he's going to become buff as anything. Oh, boy. Return to the Remnant Wastelands. Sure. Why not? He said return home on the quest. So, that is a brief look at Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. I can only assume we're about to dive into a huge cutscene and a conversation about what just happened, and I don't want to subject you to that. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, in the comment section below, are you picking this up? And also, did you know that Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale, like the SAO movie, is on Netflix? I had no idea. There's a little nugget of info for you. Have a good one, and I will see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye! <laughs>